Hi friends, Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. I wanted to do a little flip through of this book that I made um, in the style of Nick the Booksmith's Pack Rat uh, book, which I thought was really fun. So I wanna do a flip through of this. But before I do that, I just wanted to do a little update on some of the new kits that I have in my Etsy shop. So without further ado, We'll go ahead and do that. The first one is called Birds and Cages, and this one is on dictionary pages, and there are illustrations of different types of parrots on here, and then um, these really fancy bird cages that I thought were really fun. So there's two pages, and this is the other page. It has a white parrot there. Um, and some different bird cages. So four different birds and four different cages there. And these are fun for, whoops, excuse me, something fell in the background there. These are good for note cards or for um, putting on your journal pages and things like that, making into tags, whatever you like to do with those kinds of things. And then the next one, is called Prickles and Words. And this one is also on dictionary pages, which is why I thought the words was fun there. And I have eight different cactus um, plants here. So I thought these were really fun as well. And I love the way they kind of pop out from the dictionary pages there as well. So this is also another kind of note card kit here. And then the next one is called, whoops, upside down, Woodland Music. And this one, um, it's a note card type kit, but instead of um, the dictionary pages, I used some different music pages. So there are, um, each one is a different music page in the background. And I thought some of the titles were fun. So like for this one, a pinky wild rose, and then I um, added a rose and a butterfly here. Uh, buttercups, a hickory in a hin uh, in a hickory nut. I thought that was fun for the squirrel here. Sunshine far and near, um, and so this one has not only the plants on them, but I tried to add a woodland animal to it as well. So you can see a, a hummingbird here, and you know a turtle and a squirrel. And on this page is another squirrel, another hummingbird, um, and, a, and a different turtle and another butterfly. And the music pages on this one are called Daisies, June, uh, The Happiest Skip, and Wishes. So I just thought these were a whole lot of fun and I love how they combined a lot of different things. You could use them in a lot of different theme journals if you want to. So that is my note cards kit, and I have one more kit, the Brimfield. And the Brimfield is a kit of old ledger pages from the Brimfield Hotel. So um, I think the pages date from 1886 to like 1888, I believe. And I just um, absolutely fell in love with them. They have some great, you know, fountain pen writing on them. And the ledgers themselves, you know, they have a date name, a residence, time, room, and horse. <laughs> so I guess, you know, if they had new horses. And it even has the proprietor name on here, A. Monroe. Um, and there's a statement on there that they are, the proprietor is not responsible for values, money, jewelry, etc., unless they're deposited at, in the safe at the office, which I thought was really interesting since a lot of hotels, I think, have the same thing today. So they have a safe sometimes behind the desk. They do have safes in the room too, but some of them you can still put things uh, at the desk, I believe. So I just thought those were so cool. So the um, kit has 12 different um, ledger pages on, and they're about six and a half by almost 10, I believe. So let me just <clears throat> take up my ruler real quick. Yep, that's about six and a half, and then not quite 10 inches tall. So um, they're all about the same size there. And I'm not gonna flip through all of these because they're each one is different, but I just wanted to kind of show you how interesting they are. So it has the, d the date here. This one's July, 1886. And you can even see if there must have been someone uh, different at the front desk throughout the day, um, since all these um, handwriting is different, but they're just so interesting, each one of them. And it kind of, you know, says where they're from. And it has the time of day. I'm not sure if this just means, I'm not, these letters mean like, 
you know, D, T, I'm not sure what exactly they mean. So um, I don't think they have a, an actual time. Um, they have room numbers in some of them here. And then um, I love how they have a listing of the horses. So one horse, four horses, one horse. So, you know, that's like, you know, registering your car, I guess, at a hotel. So I thought that was really cool too. So each of the 12 pages are different with different things in them all. And one of them, let's see if this, if I printed that one out. Um, one of them has a St. Uh, St. Valentine's Day party at the top, which I thought was really cool too. Um, and then I also took the 12 pages and I shrunk them down for you if you wanted to print them out smaller to do something inside of a journal or on a page. Um, I thought these looked really cute like that. So you can see once again, all the different pages and the writing is just incredible there. So there's three of these pages that have each of the 12 pages shrunk down a little bit smaller. And then I also um, have the ledger front cover and back cover. Um, the back cover looks like this, except it's plain. Um, there's no ledger thing here on the middle, um, but I just printed out the front. That's all I have right here. But there is the ledger front and um, it's just amazing. You can see all the texture, um, you know, the feel of that ledger, but I thought that was really fun that you could use for something. And then I also included a blank ledger page. So I thought that was super fun because I thought that would be great to use to, um, you know, journal on, um, to put in blank, you know, so someone can journal on. I also created a blank one, um, on a, on two on a page so that you could have that a little bit smaller as well. So there's another couple of pages of those. And then I also, printed out two pages of ads that were in this ledger. So um, every other page had ads. So I thought it was so cool to see all the different um, ads that they had back then. And the, some of these are really fun. Palace organs and that font is just beautiful. The Oval King toilet paper. I thought that was really fun. Uh, Holt and Co. steam and water hot water boilers. So just all kinds. Glass and lamps. I just thought they were so much fun. Tricycles up here. And then this one has some different ones. So silver plated wear there. You have some lawn tennis um, equipment there that you could use. Um, let's see what else is fun here. The Empire Laundry Machine Company. So that looks like a, a fun um, <laughs> early washing machine. Um, diamonds, watch cases. So I thought these were really fun. They could be used as a page in your journal or even, you know, cut up to use for collage or something like that. But they were just too fun for me not to pass on. I loved those. And then the last page is a um, collage page that I put together with some of the ledger pages. And then I just added some um, textures and things to the background with some botanicals and some butterflies there, which you could also use for a page in your journal or for you know, collage or whatever you'd like there. So this kit, I believe there's 22 total pages in it. Um, and I have them in both um, JPEG form, each page in a JPEG form. And I also put them into PDF. So if you like to use PDF, you can use PDF. If you like to use JPEG, they all come that way for you as well. So I just wanted to kind of share those with you. Once again, you can click on the link to go check them out. And that's all I have for today, friends. So I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, on to this little goodie. So I wanted to do just a little flip through of this junk journal that I had put together. The construction is based on Nick the Booksmith's pack rat journal that she had done not too long ago. If you'd like to see that, I will put the link to her video down below in the description. And this is what I came up with. And I have a bunch of old books that I love. And this one is a German book. And I just loved the cover, but it was definitely very old and kind of falling apart. So I went ahead and took it apart and mounted it on some upholstery fabric and sewed in the signatures. There are, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signatures, and it is um, filled with some ephemera. There's some space left. There's lots of space to write, so let's go ahead and get to it. So I um, added some pockets to the front and the back, and of course, I have to, you know, put some tags in there. And more pockets with more ephemera and a little bit of collage here. 
And like I said, I, I probably am going to try to use this for planning. So I wanted to have lots of space to be able to do that. I did add some stamping on some of the pages. And I love these little account ledger pages that I have um, that I coffee dyed. They're not vintage or anything, but I coffee dyed them and I like the way they have the holes in here and that they're you know kind of short and they fit in small journals. And then some, um, just some lined paper that the blue from the lines that were on the paper when I coffee dyed it <laughs> just soaked all over the place, but I thought it had a really neat effect when it came out. More coffee dyed paper. And then I also tried to include some of the pages from the original book. So the pages that were inside this book, I took out and added to it. Um, these, they're very delicate. You can see they're kind of um, ripping on the side here, but I added some washi tape to hold the two pieces together and to add some structure to them so that they would stay in there and not fall apart. And then I have a little paper clip here um, with just a, a little journal card right there. And then I have some of my avocado dyed paper on here. And I don't know if you can see it, but the um, I used some plastic lace placemats to try to dye them and add a pattern. It did come out kind of faint on some of them, but I still like the way it looks and, and that it's kind of faint. I kind of like that, you know, you have to look a little bit closer to, to see that that's in there. And then I have this little magnetic bookmark here and I thought this was a cute little saying, if I feel insignificant, I will remember my goals. <laughs> so this is, um, you can take it off and put it anywhere you want and it has a magnet that holds it together so that it stays on your, your paper wherever you want it. So you just put it right up on the paper and it'll snap together and keep it together. Um, I do have a video on how to make these, so I will link that below if you're interested in how I made those um, magnetic bookmarks. And I did add some tuck spots with more little tags and places to journal on. And I, of course, sewed on some different pockets and things. So I have this little side pocket here with some itty bitty postcards there. And I added some of my Up She Goes stamps from a digital kit that I have and more postcards. And this is an envelope that I just cut the ends off of and sewed it into the signature so that it had a little side pocket here. And I love that these um, envelopes are see-through so you can kind of get, um, you know, you can kind of see what's on the inside of that envelope. I like that. And I added some washi tape to kind of cover up some of the edges of those things. And then I just added a little tab onto this postcard for that pocket. And here's the other side of that envelope with a little tag in there. And this page flips out, so there's lots of little hidden writing uh, page right there. And more book pages. And I love to add some music page in. These are pretty um, delicate, but um, I love them because they're in Russian. So you can see the, I can't read Russian, but um, I did take a couple years of it in college. So I know some of the letters, <laughs> but I don't use it, so I don't remember too much of it. And some more stamping on that ledger paper there. And I tried to, tried to for this one, I tried to include the same pages in a lot of the signatures so it had sort of a consistent feel throughout. That's why you're seeing a lot of the same things. And then I have this little journal card in here, which is some birds there, some hummingbirds. And then I added one of the um, tags that I had made, these skinny little tags that, um, that I had made. And I have a video to how I made those. And I will link that below as well, because these are so much fun to put together. They use up your scraps really well, and they make a nice um, addition to, you know, tags or even to the outside of your journal. These were a lot of fun to do. So I'll link that down below if you are interested in looking at that. And we're getting towards the end here. There's another avocado dyed paper here. Oh, you can kind of see the, um, the design on this a little bit better. So I'll kind of hold that down there. You can see um, how the design came out. I really love how these papers came out. The avocado dye is just beautiful. 
And then some more lined paper and another little pocket with a tag here and another one of the stamps from my Up She Goes kit. And there's the other side of that avocado dyed paper. And I love how the edges of this one look like if it was burned or something. And that's just that the, av the avocado dye, you know, collected here and made it darker. But I love how that looks like it maybe was burned or something. And then a big pocket in the back there to store some stuff in there as well. And there we have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment down below and let me know what journal, what kind of journal you're working on. So I'm always interested to see what other people are doing. So just let me know if you're working on a theme journal or a hardcover journal or maybe even something like this. Let me know down below what you're working on. I'd love to hear it. I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Thanks for joining me this week, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.